I'll start with you, Roy, to begin with. Do you think uh, Barclay is right to clamp down on the waste and wokery in the NHS? Uh, no, not really. I mean, if we put some context around this, he's having a go at managers because it's easy to do it and they can't answer back. Uh, I mean, the facts are two pounds in every hundred that's spent in the NHS is actually spent administering and managing it. Okay. Managers are two percent of the total workforce. And if you compare the NHS workforce with the workforce of the UK as a whole, about 10 percent of the workforce is in management and in NHS is only 2 percent. A third of NHS managers are clinicians. So, you know, what do you mean by manager? And if you look at international comparisons in the OECD, for example, the average um, the average that the NHS spends on admin and planning and you know what you might call bureaucracy is 1.5 percent. In France, it's four. And in, in the United States, it's seven. Um, I mean, part of the, you know, the paper pushing thing that we get criticized the NHS for is a lack of IT investment. I mean, one in seven hospitals don't have an electronic healthcare record. Mm. And you know, the, it, the NHS is a huge organization. It spends about £350,000 a minute. And in a minute, 7,000 people are looked after across the NHS. This is a big organization. Somebody's got to run it. And, you know, Barclay, why is Barclay doing it? Well, he, he, he's a, a Sunak supporter. It looks like... Um, uh, well, we, we can, we can only speculate on the reasons so why. He's, but let's he's on the way out. Let's talk about the NHS rather than the Sunak, because do you actually think it's fair to be spending £700,000 of taxpayers' pay money on printing virtue signalling stuff like a Black Lives Matter pledge and tips on diversity? This is, I think most people would agree this is a complete waste of money. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Well, it depends what you think about diversity and it depends what you think about the responsibility of employers that employ 1.5 million people, uh, where a high percentage are uh, black and ethnic minority. And it depends, you know, how you think you should treat your staff. But also, what I'd like to know is where the figure came from. Because I've been trying to find where this figure actually comes from. And, you know, bashing managers, is, is it, it does it all the time. Where's Streeting, the Labour shadow secretary? He said that the NHS managers were leeching, leeching money from the front line and taking it away from uh, medics. And, of course, when he was challenged of it, he spent three weeks trying to row off it. It, it's a it's a silly, okay. All right. so let's, simple let's see what target Labour that people can't resist. OK, Stephen Pound, uh, former Labour MP. Do you think there's too much waste and wokery in the NHS? And are we right or is Barclay right to cut down on it? No, but Barclay is just setting up a straw man to knock down. It's absolute nonsense. Look, I spent 10 years um, in, in the NHS uh, as, as a worker, as a hospital porter, as a matter of fact, at the Middlesex Hospital. There's huge numbers of people in professions allied to medicine, people who are ancillary workers, who are actually doing the work to allow doctors and nurses to get on with the job. Look, the key thing here is the NHS is the third rail in British politics. We don't, we're not a nationally a religious nation, but the NHS has almost become our religion and no one can criticize it. I was born on the same day as the NHS. The N my elder two brothers who were born before me both died very, very young. I am, as you can see, still in, in fairly rude good health. But the real issue here is addressing the fundamental problem at the heart of the NHS, which is the funding. Demand is elastic. Demand is endless. Supply is inelastic. I mean, I mean I'm here at the Royal British Legion in Greenford, and I've just done a quick vox pop. Everybody thinks the NHS is marvellous, it's wonderful, it's brilliant. Nobody can come up with an answer as to how to fund it. And I think Barclay, by leaning us on his ludicrous distraction, sure, get rid of the nonsense, the wokery, the ridiculous I can't stuff. sit here and hear you say that everyone thinks that. We, we get thousands get of... Do that. Thank you, Mr. Powell.